Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my much anticipated nursery makeover and reveal of Emery's Nursery. I am so excited to finally be sharing it with you all. It has been a work in progress for the last couple of months as you guys know and it is finally finished. So today's video I'm going to show the process from start to finish with you guys as well as at the end of the video I walk through her room and tell you guys where I got everything from in case you would like it as well but I hope you guys enjoy today's video and seeing how her room turned out Sweet baby. This is the before of Emery's room. We got some baby stuff in here, but we just have the chair right now. And then Connor painted the walls, which I didn't get any film of that, but he did a great job. So now we just have to add all the furniture, which is coming from Ryder's room and decorate it. Okay, we got the crib moved in here. Connor and I took it apart in Ryder's room and put it back together in here because it would not fit in the doorway. But this is what we have so far. My parents are leaving soon, so their suitcases are right there. And we have some tools. <laughs> so a little messy, but that's okay. But right now, I'm working on her name because it's gonna go right above her bed. And it's a little difficult because this isn't how, like, like they're all individual. So you kind of have to set it up yourself. But I also like it because I can set it up, like, to fit her name better than what the, like, stock photo was. I love how this one turned out. I'm still a little iffy on this one. Let's see if I can... I think I like it, but put it in the middle. I'm very excited. I was gonna wait. I'll turn this around. I was going to wait to put the flowers up just like by myself and have my dad do the name because it's really like, it's thin, it's kind of flimsy. So I was scared to do it, but then I looked at the flowers and the stock photo and then I was like, ooh. I'm scared to do that by myself too, so I'm going to make him help me with that also. And then I'll show you guys once it's up there because I'm not going to set my ring light up to like film putting it up and stuff because we're trying to get things done and we're even trying to get Ryder's big boy room together at the same time, which that video will already be up. So go check it out. But my dad's putting his bed together right at the very moment, so... I'm just not going to set everything up to film it, but I think it's going to turn out really cute. Fingers crossed it goes up on the wall how I want it to. I did want to pop in here and add Ryder's Room Reveal is not up yet, but I am working on editing it as well. It's either going to be my next video or it will be the video after that i'm not sure just yet if i can get it done to be the next video but it is coming soon because his room is done as well but i also wanted to add the hardest thing about emory's nursery was definitely 
putting up these flowers each flower and each leaf was individual but I do like that it was that way because like I was saying in the clip beforehand the stock photo was switched so the big flower piece was on the left side and the little flower piece was on the right side but that's not how I wanted her name to be, obviously, because I had her first and middle name and the stock photo just had a first name. So I'm very glad that they were like that because then I got to put them up how I would like to. But now you guys can enjoy watching Connor put up Emery's curtains. I don't have to be chasing. Ryder has discovered all of the toys that were his that are left for Emery that were in her closet. But I realized after I put the diapers here that they were ones, but it was a newborn box. So I went and I looked in the box and they had two like sleeves of newborn and one sleeve of ones. So I think Huggies messed up on that, but I can't do anything about it because I got those a long, long time ago when they were on sale. But this is the actual size comparison because I had showed you guys, and this is the actual like newborn size. They are so <laughs> little <laughs> compared to writers. How crazy is that? Hello, guys. I am going to be doing a DIY for Emery's <laughs> nursery. And so, I had seen before at Michael's or Hobby Lobby a little white vase with pink roses in it. So, 
that is what I wanted and they had had it for so long but of course when I went to go and find it they didn't have it anymore so I compromised and I found this little white vase here from Hobby Lobby it was only six dollars and it was half off so it was actually only three dollars and then I found these pink roses from Michaels. I found that the ones at Michaels were more affordable than the ones at Hobby Lobby because the ones at Hobby Lobby didn't come in like a bunch. They were just single out of the ones that like I liked. And this is a bunch. And then I got two other bunches for picture ideas whenever Emery is here, but this was only $11. So in total, this will be $14 to make this DIY that I'm sure was probably like 20, $25 at, I think it was at Michael's. So that, because Hobby Lobby has sales a lot, so that would have probably been like half off, but I'm pretty sure it was at Michael's, but we're going to DIY it and do it ourselves. I'm just going to cut the roses of course to fit in here and then I have some tape I might use like a little elastic like hair tie possibly to get them to stay in here because I didn't get any foam maybe I should have we'll see if this does not work out I will go get some foam and like stick the flowers in the foam to get them to fit but we're going to get started Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby So stuck, I kept on playing my part Wanted to give up cause nothing was changing But with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever Feel so free, oh my sweet baby And I think to myself, and I'm 
thinking out loud We won't need nothing else For the rest of our time And I know it so well I will always be by your side Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever I feel so free, oh my sweet baby Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever I feel so free, oh my sweet baby finally share it but welcome to Emory's nursery I'm gonna shut the door because Ryder is downstairs with Mimi playing but so I'm just going to walk through everything and just share where we got it I guess you guys have seen obviously us putting it all together so I just thought I would walk through and share everything where I got it all that good stuff and everything will be linked down below in the description box for you guys in case you want to shop it so we can start over here so first we have the changing table and if you guys have been here with me you know the changing table the dresser and the crib all came from writer's room so I do have a link to the dresser and the crib they still or the changing table and the crib they still have it but not the dresser or it's sold out but there's also a full three-piece set that's very very similar so I'll link both down below in case you guys would like to and this changing table thing is separate from the actual dresser it is attached to it so and then the knobs, you guys saw me change those out during the video to these really pretty rose knobs that I got from Amazon. And then right here is just the changing table pad, obviously, but all of her bedding and her changing table cover is from Caden Lane. And then this mirror right here is one of my favorite things, but <laughs> this is from Pottery Barn. I'm sure you can see Connor. <laughs> but this is from Pottery Barn Kids. <laughs> Super pretty. I think it's called the Hydrangea Mirror. I love it so much. And then over here, obviously, we have the diaper genie. But <laughs> this is the big dresser that I can't seem to find a link to. But again, we have the rose knobs on it and then right above it, we have these picture frames. So I found the picture frames just at Walmart. They're 11 by 14 and then I found the prints off of Etsy. So I bought this and then this came separate, but I loved it because isn't she lovely? I just thought that was super duper cute. And I had those printed at Walmart on glossy paper because it said glossy would make it more vibrant. And I really wanted that. So that is all there. And then over here we have the white curtains. It took me a while to find some curtains that I really liked. But these were from Kohl's. And they're white, but they're room darkening. They're not blackout, but they do a really, really good job. So, And then the curtain rod is just from Target. And over here, this little bookcase here was from Ryder's room, but it was actually from my room as well. So I will not have a link for this. And then we have the Hatch Sound Machine. Of course, we love it. And then this really pretty rose lamp. It kind of looks like pearls on the bottom. I love this too. I think this was the first thing I bought for her room. But um, this is from... Bed Bath and Beyond and then we have the rocking chair right here this is a I think it's a mm, Delta children rocking chair I'm pretty sure 
I'm not sure if they have this exact rocking chair anymore. I actually came across it on Facebook Marketplace. I wasn't going to get a new one and it just happened to pop up and the girl sold it to me for a very, very good price and she had never used it. So I was really excited because if I was getting a rocking chair, I knew I wanted it to be this color. But then the, um, the little ottoman here, I did buy this separately from Bed Bath & Beyond. And then back here we have these really cute shelves. The shelves came from Target. The little shadow box is from an Instagram shop. I cannot remember her name right now, but I'll put it on the screen for you guys and link it down below. I also got one with Cinderella and Belle, so whenever she has we changed to her toddler room. We will add that in here as well because that's the plan. But I really loved the Rapunzel, the Sleeping Beauty, of course, because Briar Rose. So I had to do that and the pinks, of course. And then the little flower vase I made. So you guys saw me making that during this video. The flowers came from Michael's and the little vase from Hobby Lobby. This little ballerina came from Hobby Lobby. I thought it was super cute with the flowers. Um, pretty sure she's gonna have dark hair because me and Connor both have dark hair. So if not, who cares? It's super cute. But, and then this little rainbow here, it's like a little boho rainbow. I thought it was perfect. The last little touch for her room because she is our rainbow baby. Um, I got this from Etsy. And then over here, finally, the last thing, big thing of her room, like I said, the crib was from Bye Bye Baby and it was Ryder's. The crib she is Kate and Lane and we had it personalized. And then above the bed, the everything I got came from Etsy. They just came separately. So the name and the flowers came separately, but they were both from Etsy. The shops for the flowers was really, really good. She helped me like make sure what I was wanting was gonna look good and everything. So I love how it turned out. It was a little nerve wracking because every single flower and every single leaf was separate. So it was a little nerve wracking putting that up on the wall. But yep, that is her room. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and seeing the transformation as well as the final reveal of it. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys haven't yet already. And we're gonna be having a baby girl super duper soon. So I hope you guys are excited and ready to see her just like we are. But I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everybody. Bye.